First, to a political upheaval affecting Australia's closest neighbour. Michael Samari has been the dominant political figure in Papua New Guinea since independence from Australia in 1975. And it's not the first time he's had to fight for his political career. But now the 74-year-old has stood down as Prime Minister while he fights allegations of official misconduct. Let's go to PNG correspondent Liam Fox, who's in Port Moresby. So, Liam, the acting Prime Minister, Sam Abal, cancelled a news conference a short while ago. What's going on? That's right. We were about to get in the car and head to uh, his office for a press conference at 10 o'clock local time, but we were notified uh, shortly before we set out that the, uh, the press conference had been cancelled. We were given uh, no reason for its cancellation, but it certainly looks like there'll be no official word from anyone in the government today. So tell us a little more about these allegations against Michael Samari. Sure, they've been levelled by the PNG's corruption watchdog, the Ombudsman Commission. It alleges that Sir Michael failed to lodge several annual financial disclosures in the 1990s as required under the country's leadership code. Now, Sir Michael has been fighting his referral by the Ombudsman Commission. Yesterday, his lawyers went to court seeking an injunction preventing the public prosecutor from moving to appoint what's called a leadership tribunal to hear those allegations. Unfortunately for them, they weren't able to find a judge to hear their injunction application. So as of uh, late yesterday afternoon, the public prosecutor wrote to the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court to ask him to appoint a leadership tribunal to hear these allegations. Now, so Michael Samari really is Mr PNG. After all, he was the country's first leader when it got independence. So how serious is this for him? Well, he probably thinks it's very serious that uh, he was fighting these allegations pretty hard and uh, up until last night uh, all indications were that he would continue to fight them. Perhaps that he feels that they would tarnish his legacy. But we got a, a press release from his office late last night saying that he would voluntarily step aside so that any leadership tribunal that is formed can proceed unhindered and he can work to clear his name. As we mentioned before, Sam Abal is now the acting Prime Minister. He's considered a good hand by people both in Australia and in PNG. He was a very experienced uh, foreign minister and a number of people have said they believe that the country is in good hands with him. And Liam, when is this latest crisis likely to be resolved briefly? That's unclear. The ball is now in the uh, Chief Justice's court. It's up to him to appoint a leadership tribunal. That's likely to consist of three judges. If a leadership tribunal is appointed, it could take just a matter of weeks for these allegations to be dealt with. Um, but it's unclear if that will happen any time soon, given that we're approaching the Christmas season and the courts usually shut down over that period. Liam, thank you.